If you wonder which clips you already used in your Premiere Pro timeline, Automation Blocks has a very easy solution for you. So here I have a timeline and some footage and if I take a look at the clip metadata, I can see here how often the video and the audio of the clip has been used. Now if you select all those clips and run the Automation Blocks tool Move Used Clips to Subbin, you can see that it created a subbin and moved all clips into it which have been used already. Now let me drag this clip, which has not been used yet, into the sequence. If we now run the tool again, the clip is also moved into the folder for used clips. Similarly, if I delete some clips from the sequence, such that they are not used anymore, I can run the tool again and the clips are moved out of the subfolder. By default, the tool only processes selected clips, but if you uncheck this box here, it will process all footage in your project. Also, by default the tool considers a clip to be used if either its audio or its video has been used. If you only want to consider video usage, you can also uncheck the audio usage for example. This is just one of so many tools in automation blocks. Note that here there is also a related tool which changes the label color of used or unused footage items. So I highly recommend to check out this tool too, which we explain in a separate tutorial.